And to Ogun State, where the state government is set to establish a community social responsibility fund at the Ogun Guangdong Free Trade Zone in order to boost social responsibilities of companies operating in the zone to the people of the state. The chairman of the board of the Free Trade Zone, Boyega Isiaka, made this known after the inaugural sitting. We'd like to warn that this report contains scenes with flash photography and viewer discretion is advised. Kazim Olawe reports. <laughs> Ogun Guangdong Free Trade Zone came to life in 2007 under Gwingadani's administration when the joint venture agreement was signed. According to the records, more than 80 companies registered and got approval to operate in the Free Trade Zone, but only 44 of these companies are fully operational. 17 are currently under construction and 18 are not operating optimally. Speaking on the development at the Free Trade Zone, the chairman of the board, Buiga Isiaka, said the zone under the present management has witnessed a lot of improvement despite the pandemic. Um, exports of about 4,200 4, trucks in 2016 has grown to be over 50,000 in year 2020 despite the pandemic. <laughs> Custom duty payments that is a fair reflection of the quantum of business has grown over 300 percent between 2016 and 2019. Employment is in the excess of 6,000. He noted that the zone is also facing some challenges but the board has designed strategy on how to rejuvenate it and facilitate growth. He added that the board will ensure fair treatment of the stakeholders operating in the zone. The board is driven by the vision to make this place a lot more functional, to drive growth and to drive development, to strengthen the sanity that is in this place, to create an office that will interface more with the community and with government and government related matters. We are going to put in place an MOU drafting committee for the community. That committee, that committee will have five members from the community and landowners, four members from Oguadon Free Trade Zone, including the enterprises, and two that will be discretionary to strengthen the committee. The board chairman added that the government is committed to promotion of initiatives that will enhance the operation of the free trade zone, such as dry ports, parking lots, among others, in order to further contribute to the economic growth of the country. Kazim Olowe, TVC News, Igbesa.